So keeping our focus on the PTI's NIA housing, NIA Pakistan housing scheme. So mortgages for poor will be difficult to get anywhere. So not only in the city center or high rise building, even if mortgages are to be given to poor uh, in areas which are far away from the city center with less land price, uh, it will be difficult for banks to give them the mortgages. The reason, the reason being that 68% of the urban working people live in informal, work in informal economies, which means that there will be no documents, no paperwork, or cash transactions. So there will be no history of employment, no history of income, no tax returns, no bank deposits. So where will the banks place their evidence on so what what criteria banks will follow to give loan to one person or to another when everybody no one has the documents so this is one of the areas which have to be uh, focused on if we are focusing on low cost housing for the poor of pakistan uh, recommendations to make this uh, near pakistan housing plan improve is that uh, we have to encourage banks uh, to increase mortgage lending uh, as the mortgage lending is very low in Pakistan. If you look at this graph, um, while in the European countries, uh, it's uh, most of the countries are above 60% of GDP in mortgage loan. So mortgage debt is 60% or more of GDP. In Switzerland, it's more than 140%. If you look at South Asia, it's very low as compared to other regions except for Africa. But uh, uh, there, uh, even in South Asia, Pakistan's market debt as compared to GDP is the lowest. So we are, we are, we are below uh, than Bhutan, India, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka. So we have to increase the market debt and market lending. So either we banks can increase uh, lending or uh, we can give more money to HBFC to lend more at concessional rates. HBFC meaning uh, the House Building Finance Corporation or company. However, it will it's not it will not be right to force the banks uh, to give loans to the urban dwellers. They have to have their own criteria. And they have because uh, we have this example of yellow cap scheme in the 1990s when banks were forced to uh, give loans or give these uh, new cars, uh, automobiles uh, to poor people uh, without much uh, concern about the uh, their affordability or return of the debt, and it eventually led to the collapse of the scheme. But not only the collapse of the scheme but uh, billions of rupees lost to the banks. Uh, the issue which has to be dealt is to improve the success of this uh, Nea Pakistan uh, housing plan is the urban planning reform. So unless this reform is part of uh, the, the scheme, the scheme will not be succeed. So uh, they are in, in every major city, there are too many jurisdictions in one country so if we and this hampers uh, the development of urban centers uh, every jurisdiction has different laws so in uh, in lahore we have the areas under lahore development authority we have areas under lahore metropolitan corporation we have areas under walton cantonment we have areas under lahore cantonment so and then there's the peri-urban, which is not under anyone. So they are operating without uh, any major uh, approval from any major uh, um, organization. So unless and until all these area, uh, different localities or different jurisdictions come up with one or similar type of plans, this um, urban planning or housing shortage cannot be removed. Uh, the best way will be that to give um, power to the local governments. So 
the PTI is moving toward that. So they are, you know, if you look at the Local Government Act of 2019, uh, it has put uh, the LDA under the jurisdiction of uh, um, the Lahore Metropolitan Cor Corporation. So hopefully this movement will continue. Uh, another thing which can be done is that how high rise buildings may will be make high rise building mandatory in the city center so that the city center which is the best space uh, in the in the urban area is utilized more then there should be laws for high rise buildings so that they can operate efficiently and without much danger like for example ha fire hazards or other hazards uh, of course, transport should also be part of uh, any house uh, plan, uh, housing plan, uh, and there will be there should be market solutions for middle income groups. Politically, it not be good, but they are essential. So more and more things uh, concessions have to be given, and planning has to be changed to make this uh, new Nia Pakistan housing plan a success.